It's you know, baby. Hey guys, your boy, you know, and welcome back to another video. And so today it's by Andrew Gillum. Um, as y'all know, Andrew Gillum came out, out the closet as bisexual, not gay. And he emphasized the fact he said he's not gay, he's bisexual. Um, were we surprised by this? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, we were not surprised by this. Um, he had a scan a couple months ago where he was caught in a hotel room, apparently visiting a friend or coming for a wedding or some bullshit like that. Whatever lie he told to the universe. And they come in the hotel room somewhere on South Beach with his ass booty butt naked with some white dude, drugs and alcohol all over that place, who we throwing up, and somebody took a picture of it put on the whole motherfucking internet. And so... Andrew Gillum went back home, was quiet as fuck, as you know, he was running for mayor of Tallahassee. And now he's finally came out and said that, hey guys, I'm bisexual. Um, here's the problem with this. Um, not even bisexual, by the way. I'm, 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 uh, I identify as pansexual, so I can't talk shit about anybody in the LGBTQ community. Sorry, the LGBTQ, I said shit too fast. LGBTQ community, okay? Here's my thing. And because I'm a black and gay. So here's where the problem comes with this. Um, a lot of people were saying that his wife already knew. I guarantee she knew. Um, because here's the thing. When we're you're in the world of politics, you have to be as quote unquote blue collar, as they say, you know, wife and kids, no scandals, you know, like like the Obamas. Because, you know, everybody loved Obama, the fact he was in the presidency for eight years and had no scandals, no cheating, no nothing. Okay. Shout out to our president. Um, but, you know, once your shit get on blast and the whole world knows about it, and then everybody looks at you with a scope in the side eye, like, he was doing what with who? Ew, bitch, you know? I don't know why y'all niggas fucking with white men, but that's just me, okay? I'm not fucking with no white peen, especially when they're higher up, because you don't know the fucking go to your ass. But NT ways, uh, there's a lot of download culture in the black community, as it is. I live in Florida, so obviously it's, it's very much vacant as fuck down here. It's every motherfucking where. But, you know, see, bisexuality is such a sin for men and especially black men. You can't be bisexual in this world as a man. As a woman, absolutely fucking Lulu. You can be chasing dick and throwing pussy both ways. And men are glorifying it, giving you a round of motherfucking applause, hoping that they can have a threesome with your ass. But when men do it, it's automatic, oh, he's gay. I don't understand why men can't like both, but women can. I don't know what kind of society fuck stru structured is that, but it's not cool. Glorify, not glorify, I'm sorry. Normalize bisexuality. It's a thing. It, it's very much a thing. Stop making it seem like it's not a thing. It's a fucking thing, okay? And do I feel bad for Andrew Gillum? Wife. The wife, not him, the wife. I don't feel bad for the wife. I'm pretty sure she already knew. It's just the fact that it's on the grand scale and the whole world knows now. It's like, oh, fuck, like, hey, you're bisexual. You're a black man and you're a dark skinned black man. Um, Aren't you supposed to be, you know, masculine as fuck? Yeah, see how that works out. So you're not only getting ridiculed by the black community, now, the white looked you motherfucking crazy, and then your whole masculinity is tarnished. Like I said, had Andrew been some random black man having a threesome or doing the fuck he's doing with a bunch of white men in a hotel room, nobody give a fuck. It, it, it would nobody give a fuck or a damn. But because he's a black man who's a politician, it holds a whole lot more weight. Um, I'm not mad at him what the fuck he did. Um, I'm just mad that. Either and let's pray to God that his wife did know because I'm just talking, talk, oh, sorry, talking about speculation. But I hope his wife knew. So when this news came out, it wasn't a big ass deal for the family because now I already know he ridiculed and his wife definitely is like, Oh, you dating a bisexual man? What the fuck? Like, da -da 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 -da. but I mean, gir girl, it's 2020, everybody motherfucking bisexual now. Like, People are literally like making bisexuality a norm, which I mean, nothing wrong with that. I, I would, I think the world should be full on bisexual. You might as well be. If you want to bring God into this, I mean, one day, four came like that back in the day, back in, in, in the eons. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with you liking what you like, but because society wants everybody to be a hyper masculinity and straight as fuck, it, you can't have this, this, this openly barrier to be who the fuck you want to be. There's nothing wrong being bisexual. Okay, and let me emphasize that there's nothing wrong being bisexual. 
live your life. Do you, sweetie? But just because he's on, on, he's on, he's a public figure, that's why it's a problem. But anyway, leave the comments down below how you think about bisexuality. Like I said, I'm pansexual. I do like both genders. I'm more mostly um, attracted towards women, but I'm sexually attracted more towards men. And nine times I have a relationship with a man before a woman. I had a relationship with women before, but now in the place I am, I'd rather be with a man. So be it, you know? That's just how the world works. But leave a comment down below. Is I honestly think it's a big fucking deal. But if you think so, please leave a comment down below. Thanks.